All right, next neutral calculation. This one's got uh, 25 amps on A. We've got 20 amps on B, and we've got 15 amps being pulled by this load on the C phase. So putting it into the chart here, we've just placed this first current at 25 amps at zero degrees. Each of the sine waves are 120 degrees out of phase, so the next one at B phase at 20 amps is 120 degrees, and then obviously another 120 gives us 240, and that load is 15 amps. Now what we have to do is we can't just add the 25, the 20, and the 15, uh, or subtract them in order to find the neutral current. We have to find the vector sum of each of these vectors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break them down into the X component and the Y component, or the adjacent and the opposite, based off of this hypotenuse and this angle. So this one here for the X component, this one is going to be equal to the cos of the angle, so cos of zero degrees times the hypotenuse of 25 amps. And once you punch that in, you'll find that all of this vector is on the adjacent. There is no angle whatsoever. We can see here that it's right at zero degrees. So we can do this for fun if we want to punch in the sine of zero times 25 amps and you get nothing. Easy now. Okay, so everything's sitting on the adjacent there. For the next one, if we find the x component for the second vector, well, we're going to take the cos of 120 degrees times 20 amps. Okay, so depending on your calculator, you may have to hit 120 and then cos, which is negative a half, and then multiply that by... 20, or you can use cos of 120 times 20 all in one shot. Depends on your calculator. Now this value ends up being a negative value of negative 10. This vector at 120 degrees, well there's A right here. It's at 0 degrees. And 120 degrees, that vector for B ends up in the second quadrant. This being the first quadrant, this being the second third, and fourth. This is positive x, this is negative x, this is positive y, this is negative y. So this vector right here, b, is in the second quadrant, and it looks like it has a negative x component and a positive y component. So there's our negative x component. And when we punch this guy in for the y component, or the opposite of that right angle triangle, sine of 120 degrees times 20 amps, we should find that that guy provides us with a positive value. So we'll take uh, the sine of 120, which is 0.866, times 20 amps, and that gives us positive 17.32 amps. Okay, next one for 240 degrees, well that vector for C ends up being right here at 240. And it looks like before we punch anything into the calculator, it should have a negative X component and a negative Y component. So again, let's do this. The X component for C is the cos of the angle, 240 degrees, times our hypotenuse of 15 amps. Okay, so we got 240. The cos of that is again negative a half. And then we're going to multiply that by 15 now. So that value ends up being negative 7.5 amps. Okay, when we're finding the, the y component or the opposite, again, all of this column right here is the adjacent. This is obviously our hypotenuse, and this is our, hy our opposite, which we're using sine to find. We're going to take the sine of 240 degrees, multiply it by our hypotenuse of 15 amps, and this guy has a y component that should be a negative number. Let's just see, 240 sine gives us minus 8.66 times 15, gives us a value of negative 
Well, now we've broken down the 25, the 20, and the 15 into the X components and the Y components, or the adjacent, the opposite of each of those right angle triangles. So now that they're all in the same plane on the X axis and the Y axis, we can add all of these vectors up together. So let's start here for the Y for the resultant. So we've got uh, 0 plus 17.32 amps plus I mean, we're adding it, but we're going to take off the... Let me just scroll down here, guys. It gets all funky when I'm near the bottom of the, the screen here. Okay, let's try that again. So, the Y of the resultant is equal to 0 plus 17.32 plus negative 12.99. So we're adding all those vectors up together. So essentially we get 17.32 minus the 12.99 and that gives us positive 4.33 the x component for the resultant here looks like it's positive 25 amps plus negative 10 plus negative 7.5 okay so we got 25 Minus 10, minus 7.5 gives us 7.5. So we're left with positive 7.5. Now we've got a positive x component and a positive y component. So the resultant vector would be here in the first quadrant. So whatever angle we find <coughs> will be between 0 and 90 degrees. And in order to find this resultant value here, we're going to use Pythagoras. So right here, we just added them up. And going back this way, we're using Pythagoras. Okay, so we'll do 7.5 squared plus 4.33 squared. And then we're going to take the, the square root. Depending on your calculator, you may need to use this is double brackets. So what do we got? We've got seven and a half squared uh, plus four point three three squared. And then we'll take the square root of that. Hang on, I screwed it up. Seven point five squared plus four point three three squared equals and then we'll take the screw to that. So that ends up with a value of 8.66. And that's going to be a positive. Okay, so now we've got our neutral current. If we have 25 amps on A, 20 amps on B, 15 amps on C, we end up with a neutral current of 8.66 amps. Now, if we were to draw out this triangle now, we have all the components there for that neutral current. This 7.5 ends up being the adjacent. The 4.33 ends up being the opposite. And the 8.66 for our neutral current ends up being the hypotenuse. So now we can use, uh, we can use cos with these values. We can use sine with these values. And we can determine this angle that the current, the neutral current is actually happening at. So if we use the, the 7.5, divided by the 8.66 gives us 0.866 and if we take the inverse cos of that we get 29.99 degrees or we find that the neutral current happens at 30 degrees. So this angle right here ends up being 30 degrees. Now normally that doesn't matter which way the current on the neutral is flowing. It's either flowing back to the bus bars of the panel or from the panel out to the load because it is AC, it's going back and forth. Either way, 8.66 amps is gonna hurt if it, you're in the circuit there. Uh, the reason for finding this angle here is on the next example, we're gonna have a resistive load and an inductive load and we're gonna have to find the vector sum of the resulting uh, neutral currents on each of them and the angle at which each of them happen. Okay, so you can pause the video here, double check all your answers here. Again, we found the X, 
and the Y components, we added them up. These are at 90 degrees, so now we use the Pythagoras to move back, finding our total neutral current at 8.66 amps, and then I just arbitrarily used cos with 7.5 and 8.66 to find that the angle that the neutral current was happening at is 30 degrees. All right, guys, you can stop the video here and then move on to neutral calculation number three.